today's video is all about Powder Pro versus Frit Shovel. Hi, I'm Jill Tisbury. Welcome back to the Fired Glass Studio. And today we're talking about um, predominantly how to use a powder pro um, as opposed to using a frit shovel to apply powder. So I've got two pieces here just to show you the kind of thing that we're heading towards when we use a powder pro. Um, so um, I think cats are probably my thing that you can see here. Um, so we've got a nice little um, pair of cats on a tree. So the tree and the cats and all of this detail, all applied by using a powder pro. And the same here, but um, instead of using a powder pro for the cats, I'll just move this out of the way. So you can see this one. Um, we've, we've just used a cutout there. Um, so I wanted to show you what a powder pro is and how it works. Okay, let's have a look at the powder pro then. So um, this is the powder pro. Mine's in purple, they come in all sorts of colours and um, it comes with one tip. Now let's have a look at these. You've actually got um, a tip with a large hole, a tip with a small hole and a tip with um, a slit on the bottom. The Powder Pro generally comes with the standard one which is this large um, tip and it just simply magnetically um, clicks onto uh, this little um, arm here. So I'm going to take that off for a second. Those um, three tips are available as a separate set so it's worth getting hold of those. So if I unscrew that you can see it's very simple. It's got two AAA batteries, just slot them in there, pop this on, screw that up and then at the back here you've got a little button. There we go, we often say it sounds like an angry wasp. Um, so when you press that button, you'll feel this vibrates. And what happens is with this little cartridge here, this cartridge has two bits to it. It's got the, um, the bit with the hole, and it's got this bit, which actually got the magnet on the end, and the magnet then obviously clicks onto here. So you fill this with powder, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Pop that back on, clicks on there, and when you press this, the vibration goes through here, through the powder, and causes it to come out of the hole here onto um, you know, your glass. So that's the basic structure and how the thing works. So let's give it a go, shall we? Okay, obviously um, you're working with powder. As I always say, make sure you have a mask, the one you really need to use is an N95 mask to be safe um, because they filter out all the particles. So that you can hear me and because this is a short demonstration I'm going to just use one of these masks. Oh, I'll pop that on under my glasses, there we go. And I've got my piece of um, glass here. We're just going to do a sample to show you how it works today. I've got some black um, powder here. You can only use powder obviously because frit, even fine frit, is too thick to go through here. And what you do, you need to push the open end of your um, powder pro, there we go, the bit with the hole in it, into here. I've got the one with the, the large hole here and as you push that in you can see that the powder is going into here. Now Ideally, you can probably see that as I tap it, that powder's coming out of there. So to stop that coming out, you need to put your thumb or your finger over the hole. Otherwise, you're going to get a whole spurt of powder all over your studio if it's not what you want. And then just pop that down there. Now what I do is just a little tap to make sure that the powder's gone down into the bottom. And um, sometimes what you'll find when you're using this is that um, it stops working, but you know you've only just put powder in it. And it's because the static has actually caused the powder to come right up into the barrel here. So if you tap it, the powder's down at the bottom. Click that on there and make sure that the hole is facing downwards. There you go. Okay, let's move the powder out of the way so you can see this. 
So I'm going to do, you remember the tree that we looked at earlier on, I'm going to do something similar um, with this but I, I want to show you the technique rather than what it is that we're doing. So I tend to put my index finger underneath the barrel and that helps to support this thing. Get this fairly close, if you're up here the powder is going to go down and it's going to disperse everywhere which you don't want. So down at the bottom and you can see it comes out quite thickly at this point. Now if I go quicker I'm going to get a thinner line. If I go slower I'm obviously going to get a thicker heap here. So imagine that I want to do a, a tree here. There we go, we've got thicker branches at the bottom so we can go over the top and this is a good technique for doing this. Just up curve, up curve, up curve and then wherever you've got a curve you can come off and obviously the branches of a tree tend to go over each other but you can see what happens as I go a little bit quicker I get thinner branches which is what you expect. So if I just move that away from the overspill then you can see I've got the outline of my tree and it's really quite quick and it's very very easy um, to do this. So um, Powder Pro is fantastic if you've got a frit shovel you can still do the same thing but I'll show you the difference. You really do have to be, you can see I can't get as organic on, on this with the, the shapes and I'm going to have to tidy this up. So the problem will come when I want to try and do this kind of situation. Really, really difficult to do with a fritz shovel. You possibly can, but it's a bit more jerky. So it still works, you can still do it, you don't have to get one, but I just thought I'd show you, you can see they're a bit thicker there, so I probably want to get something like a, um, a colour shaper and move this around to tidy it up. So there's a lot more work involved if you're going to use a Fritz shovel um, to do this kind of thing. So Powder Pro is a really, really useful tool. Um, so that was the thick nozzle. I just want to quickly show you the other nozzles that you've got. So this is the um, thin nozzle, the um, smaller hole in here. So it's going to give you a, a thinner line. So again, pop that down there, put your finger on the end, and there we go. You can see you get a much thinner line with this. So maybe these are the old seed pod heads that you often get. I've always got to invent a story for the things that I'm putting on my pieces. But you want to be um, aware of your coverage, something like this is going to give you a nice nice thick stem, something like this is perhaps going to um, give you more of a filigree sort of look, but you can see it's much thinner. Okay, I've just dusted the powder um, off, this is the beauty of doing um, practice runs on a, a spare piece of glass, so I've got rid of my powder because I want to show you the last tip. Um, it's a bit of an acquired taste. This is the one that's got the um, slit along the bottom. Let's fill it with powder. I say it's an acquired taste. I don't use it that often. I guess you could use this for um, the tree trunks. Um, you get quite a lot of powder that comes out of it. And you want to make sure that the top's on quite tight on this because it has a tendency to spin round. So um, again, I'm supporting it with uh, any finger on there and here we go. So you can see what happens to this. You get a really thick line if you have it horizontally. And then obviously you could use it like this. To create yourself thinner bits. You could twist it and you can get a slightly thinner line. There we 
go. So this gives you a much, much thicker application than those fine nibs that you had. And again, if you go quicker, you can get a little bit thinner, even with this tip. Um, but I find that the other two with the holes in it tend to do um, what I want them to do um, for this kind of work. So there we go, Powder Pro really um, for me is worth its weight in gold so if you haven't got one and you were thinking about getting one then perhaps do invest in one of those and uh, you can probably take your, your work in a, a new direction let's take this mask off so i hope you found that useful oh there we go much better <laughs> hope you found that useful um and uh, have a comment below if you've used one or you've found different ways of using it don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit the um, bell uh, not to miss any of the other videos that we upload and uh, perhaps we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.